Earlier this year, Fellow made waves through the coffee grinder industry by introducing their Fellow Ode Gen 2 an update that, to be honest, brought it to the level that it should have been at at the initial launch. The Ode Gen 2 is a fantastic grinder from both a workflow and grind quality perspective. But it does have one major shortcoming that some people are simply not able to overlook. And that's where this comes in, a brand new line of grinders in the Fellow Opus. This grinder not only looks to satisfy the espresso market, but also do so at a shockingly low price point. If you do want to check your local pricing on this grinder, I will have it linked down in the description below. Now, in my few weeks of testing this grinder, the Opus surprised me in many ways, some good and some bad. But one thing is for sure, this grinder is going to force a shift in the market because of the pure bang for your buck that it is offering. But is it going to be the right grinder for you? Let's find out. Now, before we get going, I do want to quickly say that Fellow did send me this grinder ahead of the launch to do a review and get some initial impressions. However, as always, this will have zero impact on the contents of this video or the opinions I express in it. The very first thing I was curious and slightly worried about in this new lower price bracket grinder was how the build quality would be impacted. And right out of the gate, it is clear that this is one of the areas that has been changed in order to get the cost of production down. The outer shell of the grinder is all plastic, and the catch cup has been changed to plastic as well. In my opinion, this is a bit of a miss, as I do really appreciate having good fit and finish in products that I use on a daily basis. However, with that being said, I do appreciate how it was a relatively simple sacrifice for the engineers to make to get the price point down without actually impacting the grind quality or overall function of the grinder. What also surprised me is that it visually looks almost indistinguishable from the all-metal construction of the more expensive Ode. While I don't necessarily agree with the decision, a coffee grinder isn't really an appliance that you pick up and handle very often, so having it look identical to all my other fellow products while being made of a different material wasn't a big sticking point for me. The grinder also doesn't jump or walk around the table at all when grinding, which is good considering the lighter weight. The only area where the use of plastic does worry me a bit is on the base plate, which is a high wear area. My unit has already started to pick up some scratches, although they are only visible from right up close. Moving on to the design, the Opus takes a somewhat contradictory approach to its look using a cylindrical grinding chamber, while at the same time maintaining some familiar design elements from the Ode, such as this corrugated section at the rear and the rectangular base with a single functional button. Fellow has always put design high on the priority list, and the Opus is no exception. The user experience was the area where from the very first dose I ground, I was reassured that the Fellow engineers had kept intact the most important aspects of the functional design, despite their very clear mission to reduce the price point as much as possible. The Opus is equipped with the excellent anti-static system we've seen before from Fellow. I really can't stress enough how effective this ionizer is and how much easier and cleaner it makes the workflow of the new generation Fellow grinders. Grounds go into the dosing cup and come out into your brew method of choice without any repeated shaking or knocking. Even the much praised Niche Zero cannot compete in terms of static control. Grinding volume is also very reasonable and considerably quieter and less intrusive than pretty much every other budget grinder I've used to date. Grinding is initiated with the front button with single, double, and triple clicks, giving 30, 60, and 90 seconds of timed grinding respectively. Unfortunately, the Opus does not carry over the excellent auto stop feature that was found on the Ode, where it was able to sense when the burrs were empty and stop automatically. However, in my experience, using the 30 second timed option was kind of the perfect amount for a single dose, whether it be espresso or filter. It was enough time to get that dose through and then keep the burrs spinning a little bit longer to flush out any stuck grounds. The included dosing cup is a somewhat unique design that I can see being a little bit divisive. If being used for filter, it's nothing special. It has a lid, which I honestly opted not to use most of the time due to the non-existent static of this grinder, and it centers automatically thanks to embedded magnets in the cup and base. 
Where it gets a little interesting is the inclusion of an insert for espresso dosing. This narrower cup with a flared top is able to fit 54 and 58mm portafilters simultaneously, and it works really well as you'd probably expect from such a simple part. No, it's not the most elegant solution, but for a grinder looking to appeal to the widest range of customers possible, I've got to give props for the pretty clever design. The one area where Fellow completely flew the coop in terms of ease of use and design is in the grind adjustment. For the life of me, I cannot understand why they set it up in the way they did. So let's quickly go over why it is so confusing. On the outside of the grinder, there are 41 individual grind steps. So far, so good. However, for dialing in espresso, these steps are slightly too large. One step will give you a 20 second shot, while the next finer might give a 35 second shot. So, as many grinders do, they've included a micro adjustment inside. The problem with this micro adjustment is that it is very unintuitive to use. When you adjust the micro adjustment finer, the grind setting shown on the dial will read a partial tick coarser. Now I'm sure why you can see that is a little bit confusing, and to further aggravate the problem, those micro adjustments do not split up the macro adjustments into even parts. Each micro adjustment is somewhere in between 65 to 75 percent of a full click on the outside. What that means is that in order to get the minimum resolution, you need to fiddle around with different combinations of the macro and micro adjustment. Let me give you an example. In order to go finer, the absolute minimum amount that you can, you have to first move the macro adjustment one step coarser, and then move the micro adjustment two steps finer. This will result in you going up 100% of a click, and then down about 120% of a click, resulting in a 20% step. It is absolutely mind-boggling, and I have no idea why it was set up in this way. For a grinder that's supposed to be targeting entry level, beginner users, this system is not it. A simple stepless system, or at least a micro adjustment that evenly divided the macro steps, would have made this entirely different, and we wouldn't have spent about two minutes of this video talking about the grind dial. In practice, dialing in espresso is absolutely possible with the Opus. Between the macro and micro adjustments, you have plenty of steps to dial in, and the grinder can absolutely grind fine enough for every coffee I threw at it. The motor that Fellow has included in the Opus is also geared with far more torque than something like the Ode. It is able to handle very dense, very lightly roasted specialty coffees with absolutely no struggle at all. I was completely unable to stall this grinder with even my lightest roasts, and I've even seen people grinding just straight up green coffee in this thing. So for a specialty coffee for lighter roasts, Fellow has knocked this thing out of the park. It is able to outperform even some grinders costing 10 times as much in terms of its ability to grind through and not stall. It is really, really impressive. As for retention, I was finding somewhere between 0.5 to 0.8 grams being held up each time. Because the Opus does not have a knocker, you'll need to go old school by tapping on the top of the grinder, or using the lid as bellows to get those stuck grounds out. But if you do so, the Opus is absolutely single dose capable, with little worries of stale grounds or any cross contamination. Now onto the important stuff, which is the actual taste of the coffee. For both espresso and filter, actually, I was pleasantly surprised by the coffee I was getting from the Opus. The fact that we can get this level of quality at this price point today is pretty darn awesome. The 40mm Conical Burrs produced espresso with good body, but not muddy or overly bitter tasting notes. Fine's production is clearly kept within acceptable limits, leading to shots that are still easy to dial in, but provided a good amount of clarity and complexity in the cup. When it comes to filter, although this would not be my first choice of grinder, it did perform better than expected, again giving some good complexity, but also starting to get some sharper bitterness when really trying to maximize extraction. If you're looking for a filter-only grinder, you'd still be much better off going with something like the Ode or Easypresso K-Max instead, although those are sitting at higher price points and aren't necessarily ideal for espresso. 
Overall, I was very impressed with the amount of value that Fellow has managed to pack into this new line of grinders. You get a grinder that cuts through even the lightest roasts with ease, you get solid grind quality, single dosing, great workflow, and a modern appearance for less than most high-end hand grinders cost. However, much like the first generation Ode, I don't think that they 100% nailed it right off the bat. A grind knocker would have been nice, as it is still needed for true single dosing, and the grind adjustment system is just downright baffling. Other grinder manufacturers are going to need to pivot to keep up with the value proposition of the fellow Opus. Right now, in this price point, it is an excellent option that I am absolutely going to start recommending to people looking to get into the home grinder market. However, I will be eagerly awaiting the fellow Opus Gen 2, which will hopefully iron out the few quirks that are still present in this grinder. Again, if you want to check out the Opus, I will have it linked down in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave us a like, and even consider subscribing if you want to see some more like it in the future. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.